1996 Yamaha two-stroke outboard 115 horse. It's time to put this bad boy back in on the bass boat and finish this project. Okay, so let's go to the boat and do some prep work and then put the motor on there. Let's go check it out. So what we have here is, this is where your uh, motor is going to go, of course. Um, I've cleaned it up really well and uh, painted it because between the gasket, I've noticed over time, these bolts can come loose under the motor. It makes that gasket a little bit loose and water sneaks in between the gasket and cause corrosion. So I've cleaned all that off and repainted it to stop corrosion. Uh, water travel to these ports over here, there, there. Um, this two square hole right here is your exhaust. They go down and out through the prop. That's how the exhaust is set up on these. So this is the gasket. This only goes one way. It has two dowels right here and you want to make sure you line that hole, drop it in like that. And that's how it goes. So uh, you don't have to put any adhesive on this gasket, but I'm going to put adhesive on the gasket just because of the nature of uh, water can get here and, and uh, cause corrosion in this part of the motor. I have this 518 gasket maker. I'm going to put a thin coat on the gasket on both sides and then put the motor on there. This, this here is good for oil, gas, and uh, water, especially salt water. This is a, what do you call this is a gel seal. So I'm gonna put a light coat of this gel seal 518 on there. This stuff don't dry up on you that you give you plenty of time to work with. Now I have six long bolts. These are 12 millimeter socket. I'm going to put some grease all the way up and down on this bolt. Stop corrosion around around the bolt right here on the threads. Makes it easy every time to take it out if you have to. Three bolts go on this side, one, two, three, and three on the opposite side. And we have three on the opposite side. So in front of the engine, like where it mounts on the boat right here, right up above there, you have one bolt goes in that hole. And then more inside there, you have a stud coming down, you got to put a nut there. And then of course you do the same thing on the opposite side. I'm not tightening up any bolts yet until I catch all of the bolts and nuts. Then I can start tightening down.
at the back of the motor you have two more bolts in there So all of the power head mounting bolts, all of them, nuts and bolts, 15 foot pounds. That's the torque spec on it. So whichever bolt you can't get to torque, if the torque wrench can't fit in there, you can just average it with a wrench, pull on it till it get tight, and then stop right there. What? 